charisma uh, is misunderstood. People think charisma is all about, you know, having that flashy body language, wearing good clothes, speaking well, looking groomed, etc. It is that, but the things that I'm talking about right now, it is also that. In fact, more of all the stuff that I'm talking about right now. Hello, my name is Shreya and welcome to Shreya TV. Here I talk about executive presence, purpose and style. So if you're interested in all three or any of these three, this channel is for you. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about charisma, a characteristic, a trait that everybody secretly wishes to have in their personality. And most of us also wish and hope that it came to us naturally, but the truth is different. We don't really have to be born charismatic. It's just a false uh, expectation from ourselves. Uh, there is more data that suggests that leaders acquire charisma rather than those who are naturally born with charisma. So it is absolutely okay if we don't have these skills yet. They can be practiced like any other skill and with practice we can authentically display charisma because that's the aim, right? Whatever we do, we've got to do it authentically. So in this video, I'm going to talk about three aspects of charisma which are very important to know and practice so that you come across as a holistic person and not somebody who's just trying to fake it or put on an act. For that, you've got to watch this video till the end because with each point, it keeps getting better. Number one is power charisma. Power comes from two ways. One, when you hold that position or that seat of power where you can, where you know there are a lot of people reporting into you, when you hold that position, that role, that designation, power comes naturally to you. So that's number one. The other way that I am more interested in sharing with you is the power of body behavior, that non-verbal power uh, which uh, translates into charisma. What does power charisma really mean? So let's say I'm presenting uh, to you and we're in a meeting. I would uh, choose and consciously prefer to open up rather than close myself when I speak to you. So I'm going to rest one of my hands on the table. So I want to show you right now, here's this table that I've kept my tripod on. So I would prefer to rest one hand here and the other hand I would use to just free flow well, as in use it for hand gesturing so that uh, my body looks more open, especially the torso. The top half of the body must look open when you are presenting on video because these days all of us are mostly on uh, video calls. So it's a great way to exhibit power and that uh, if done the right way, underline if it is done the right way it translates into power charisma so look for opportunities to open up your body when you speak to people in general even in social occasions it's always a better thing to open up your torso and speak to people because torso when hidden sends signals which are more closing where you are more watchful you're not sure if you should so if you really want to send that kind of a message maybe yes but if you don't want to send that message please avoid closing your body and uh, try consciously exhibiting power charisma by uh, opening up uh, the torso and the hands the second way is the complementary the opposite end of the spectrum of the first one so the first one was power charisma the second one is humility charisma, which uh, executive coaches also call as kindness charisma. As the name suggests, humility charisma really means um, showing the warm side of your personality, showing the, as they say, the yin side of your personality as well. There's nothing that works as well as humility. Yes, power is important. Power shows, power makes things apparent. But uh, when you balance it out with humility, magic begins to happen. So when you see most of these charismatic leaders speak and present their work, uh, there's a very nice balance of power. And I'm talking about the new age leaders. I'm not talking about the authoritarian style of leadership, which was at once upon a time, but it's passe now. What people increasingly want to see in leaders of today is authenticity, uh, being more natural, being themselves, being extremely comfortable with who we are as people. So humility ensures that uh, you build that connect with people. It ensures that people feel okay to reach out to you. So many times I hear people tell me that um, I'm good at my work and people do approach me uh, for work-related stuff. 
but for anything else like you know asking for a favor or just any casual informal discussion for some reason they don't reach out to me and that bothers me if that is your story then you really want to consider including humility in your personality just by and, and look for ways where you can come across as more approachable so humility is not only about your choice of words of course a huge part of it is how you speak to people but another big component of humility is the nonverbal side that um, body language uh, showing humility through body language is far more effective and quicker uh, than uh, using it through choice of words and the third kind of uh, charisma display is through focus so that's also called focus charisma meaning uh, paying attention to others it is so important to be genuinely interested in listening to other people so you know what those those of us who really like people, who enjoy company of others, this becomes far easier for us than those who feel awkward in front of people, who are not very social, or those of us who don't have very high interpersonal skills. I get it, it's going to be difficult. Other ways that you can show your interest in other people is by, of course, the nods. Uh, these are the uh, non-verbal nods. And uh, ensure that you keep changing the pace of the nods. Uh, those uh, static nods really look like, oh, they're nodding for the sake of it. So don't do that. Change the pace of your nods. Um, I'm going to make a video on nodding uh, separately uh, once because that's, that is also something that has been asked. So if you are interested in a video on uh, the science of nodding and how can you pay more attention to people non-verbally, comment below and let me know and I will make that video. So and one way is, as I said, you know, uh, nods. The other way is by uh, leaning forward. It is so important to lean forward and uh, listen to people. Even when you're really listening to people through ears, uh, when you lean forward and bring your torso closer to the other person, it just shows that you are seriously listening to people and that your energy is focused uh, in the discussion and uh, to whatever the other person is saying. I hope you can implement all three of them uh, at every step of your engagement with people and see how the quality of your communication changes with people. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, you know the drill i'm going to ask this please uh, show your love like this video and share it with others that's really really important share it with as many people as you think should watch stuff like this and please subscribe to my channel so that each time i upload a video you get to know it thank you so much for watching take care